This is Southern Cross News with Rachel Williams. Good evening, everyone. A man has died following a tragic boat accident at Marion Bay early this morning. Emergency crews were called out at 7am and managed to safely rescue two other male occupants from an area well known for rough and dangerous conditions. Recovering the sunken vessel after this morning's tragic ordeal. Three men in their 40s ventured to Marion Bay for an early morning fishing trip when they ran into trouble. It would appear that as they were going through the narrows, uh, the boats overturned. Um, two men have managed to uh, escape from the boat uh, and unfortunately a third person has just died. Two men were rescued by another fisherman in the area and have since been treated for shock and hypothermia at the Royal Hobart Hospital. A research and rescue team was assembled in an effort to locate the third man who was reported missing at around 8am. Sadly, he was found deceased shortly after. Uh, at first, that male was um, picked up by a commercial fisherman who was in the area, and then a very short time after that, um, police got there and uh, removed the male from the water. Tasmania police are warning fellow boaties about the dangers of these southeastern waters. People just have to pay attention uh, when they're on the water, uh, especially to weather and wave actions, and that's especially the case in bar areas such as this. The Narrows is a windy body of water running through Marion Bay out to Blackman's Bay, known by locals as a dangerous spot for boats due to rough currents and strong winds. That it is a, a timely reminder once again to make sure that people do wear um, personal flotation devices, carry the required safety equipment, check weather conditions and also obviously notify family members where they're going and when they'll be back. It is believed that all males were wearing life jackets and a report is being prepared for the coroner. Ruby Kamein, Southern Cross News. Well, Tasmanians waiting lengthy periods for elective surgery may soon receive some relief. The state government today announcing it will invest a further $20 million in reducing elective surgery wait times. Currently, only 74% of those needing elective surgery are seen within the recommended medical time frame. Our clinicians actually get to prioritise patients on the basis of need. Uh, for urgent cases, non-urgent cases and semi-urgent cases, uh, our clinicians are the ones who determine how the patients will be seen. The funding will come into effect in July. The sacrifice of Tasmania's fallen soldiers in the Boer War has been commemorated at a ceremony in Hobart. Wreaths were laid at the Hobart Cenotaph as the soldiers and horses who served and lost their lives during the battle in South Africa were remembered. It's understood 41 Tasmanians fought in the war from 1899 to 1902. Today is the 15th time the service has been held in Hobart. Dozens of brave souls have made the 60 metre plunge off Hobart's Rest Point Casino today for the annual Edge Absail Challenge, which raises vital funds for the Royal Hobart Hospital Research Foundation. We smashed our fundraising target a week ago, so we set ourselves the aim of uh, raising $40,000 to support local medical research, but as of last Sunday night we hit that and we're sitting up around $55,000 at the moment. 60 people taking part this time around, with organisers expecting to raise more than $60,000 for the cause. The country's fastest road race has certainly lived up to expectation today. The Launceston 10 men's and women's winners both setting race records as more than 1,600 competitors took part. Bracing the cold, runners of all ages warmed up, pumped to tackle the 10-kilometre course. This event always attracts great runners because it's a nice, flat, fast course and a beautiful city, so we'll always get the great runners here. The elite athletes anticipated a fast race and what they got was even faster. Hungry for the win, two-time place getter Victorian Jack Rayner wasted no time in taking the lead. Breaking away from the pack at the three kilometre mark, the 22-year-old didn't look back, smashing his PB to set a new race record, 28 minutes and 34 seconds, the fastest race time in a decade. I knew I was in good shape and I, I wanted to run a really fast time, so yeah, I had 28.45 in my head that I wanted, I was going to be happy if I ran around that time, but yeah, to go under that, yeah, ecstatic. 
Fellow Victorian Charlie Park claimed runner-up and South Australia's Adrian Potter finished third. Meanwhile, 2017 women's champion Sinead Diver managed to defend her title, the 41-year-old Victorian shaving 50 seconds off her race PB. I knew I was fitter than last year coming into this race, but I didn't think I'd get 50 seconds, but it always helps when you have somebody with you the whole way who's pushing you as well. So it was really competitive today and I think that's where, why I got the 50 seconds improvement on last year. Victoria's Ellie Pashley was runner-up with Tasmanian Melanie Daniels in third place. 1,644 athletes competed today and while many had achieving a PB on the mind, others were just happy to be out and about. Will's, uh, Will, he's a great kid and he loves these races. We've been together on a few races now and uh, we have heaps of fun. We should be all right, shouldn't we, Evan? Yeah, <laughs> we're going to go all right. Jesse Gilmore, Southern Cross News. The North West Thunder and Launceston Tornadoes have played out a pair of Siebel thrillers overnight, emerging narrow winners over Canberra. While the Tasmanian Magpies have held on to top spot on the ANL ladder with a clean sweep over Queensland. Canberra caught the thunder on the back foot early but couldn't keep the visitors down for long as they edged their way back into the match come half time. A dominant third term saw the boys from the northwest in the box seat at the final change but the match wasn't without its nervous moments with the thunder just holding on to take it by a single point. Another tight tussle for the Torns up against the Capitals Academy with the home side forcing the visitors to battle tooth and nail for the win. A 26 point effort from Lauren Nicholson guiding the side through a dominant final quarter as the Torns clawed back the lead to win it by five points. Meantime, the Tasmanian Magpies have made it a clean sweep against Queensland Fusion for the weekend, backing up yesterday's win with a 60-53 goal victory at Launceston Silverdome today. Jane Cook starring for the Pies with 42 goals. To the NPL and the Zebras had a field day at KG5 today, making easy work of the Northern Rangers. Matt Sanders pulling off a hat-trick as his side slotted six unanswered goals for the match. Overnight, Launceston City cemented their spot on top of the table, dishing Clarence United up a demoralising loss at Buckby Park, storming home the 7-0 winners. Kingborough almost pulling off an upset over South Hobart, drawing first blood at home before South squared things up just after half-time. Both sides managing another to set things up for a tense finish, but in the end it was the visitors who dug deep to take it to 3-2. Welcome back. 10 degrees today in Hobart, Launceston, Burnie and Devonport. All 14 degrees after a rather chilly start. 15 was the state's top today for King Island and Smithton. 14 for Flinders Island, for Wynyard and also Strawn. Low Head St Helens, Cressy, Scottsdale and Sheffield all hit 13. 10 degrees after a really chilly start there in Liawini with 7 the top for Grove. Mostly clear conditions on the charts for Tasmania, just some scattered cloud there out to sea. Low cloud lingering over the far east of Australia with mid-level cloud scattered across WA. The remainder mostly cloud free. Looking to the forecast tomorrow, the strength, the high strength is over the bite as a weak front crosses the state and a high extends a ridge over Australia. On the waters, west to northwesterly winds, 5 to 15 knots, reaching 20 about the south, tending south to southwesterly at 10 to 20 knots about the west, with seas between 1 and 2 metres. 14 and partly cloudy tomorrow for Hobart, 13 for Dover and Ouse. Early fog and 15 in Launceston, 15 also for Devonport, Scottsdale of 14 degrees, 15 in Burnie, strong showers and 13 degrees with a top of 14 for Stanley and a cloudy day on the east coast, 15 at St Helens and Swansea, early frost and fog for Ross with a top of 13. Looking on to Tuesday, just some showers about the Bass Strait Islands, mostly clear day elsewhere, a frosty start for most areas. Fog and frost for Wednesday with some morning showers through the north, fine elsewhere, with similar conditions expected again on Thursday. Rain developing tomorrow for Perth, 23 degrees. Showers there for Adelaide, 17. Cloudy conditions for Melbourne and Canberra. Showers for Sydney, 18. Sunny and 26 for Cairns. Brisbane, 23 with 31 the top for Darwin. All evening at the moment, 6 degrees in Hobart, 7 for Launceston and a bit of cloudy in Devonport, 11 degrees. Back to you, Rach. Wonderful. Thanks for that, Sam. Well, that's all your news for now. Thanks for joining us. Have a great week. I'm Rachel Williams. Good night.